Tesla's AI Day 2022 was just passed and Elon Musk gave us some exciting updates at the event. Tesla humanoid robot was the headline and generated all the buzz, but there was another key update about another Tesla product that will arguably have a greater impact on the world. We are talking about the Tesla Dojo Supercomputer, a Tesla platform claimed to be the fastest AI training machine in the world. The AI Day presentation tells us that Tesla Dojo is now ready to take over the world as it promises to accelerate Tesla's shift to fully self-driving vehicles. Tesla is the runaway leader in EV technology, but if you ask Elon Musk, he will tell you that Tesla is much more than an automaker. The company's next giant leap is in the world of artificial intelligence. With Tesla's Optimus robot planned for mass production in 2023, and its fully self-driving vehicles set to hit the roads, the company needs mastery of artificial intelligence. But AI needs to be trained, and that training comes with a lot of computing and huge amounts of data. That data is handled by giant supercomputers taking up huge storage units. Tesla currently has a large NVIDIA GPU-based supercomputer, which, according to Musk, is the sixth or seventh most powerful supercomputer in the world. However, Dojo is going to be a custom-built supercomputer that uses in-house chips and an entire infrastructure designed by Tesla. And Elon Musk wants it to be the most powerful supercomputer in the world. Initial tests show that Dojo is well on its way to achieving that goal. According to Tesla's principal system engineer for Dojo, Bill Chang, the system is so powerful that it tripped the power grid in Palo Alto earlier in the year. Tesla was testing the power and cooling infrastructure and was able to push the power up to 2.3 megawatts before getting a call from the city. Tesla has high hopes for its newest supercomputer, and we might see its most important applications in Tesla's bid to put fully autonomous vehicles on the road by the end of the decade. One of the major reasons Tesla has become the runaway leader in the EV space is that it treats its vehicles like data points. The more a Tesla drives, the more data it sends back, and that data is used to optimize the driving experience. Tesla makes changes to its vehicles in real time by using over-the-air updates. So in a way, Tesla runs like a software company, and that model is now at the heart of the company's shift to autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars will learn more quickly once they are made to encounter real-world situations. This can be done by generating realistic world simulations and testing AI models against them. The faster Tesla software goes through these simulations, the closer we will get to the first fully autonomous car. This is where Dojo comes in. After being teased for a few years, Tesla is on the verge of rolling out a supercomputer that can massively accelerate AI learning because of its superior computing ability. Tesla's current supercomputer is powered by NVIDIA GPUs and is capable of 1.8 exaflops of performance. The key task this system performs is auto-labeling, a process of adding labels to raw data and providing context so that a machine learning model can learn from it. Just as human beings learn from being on the roads, a vehicle AI learns from pre-processed models of the world and responds with predefined actions for every situation. Now, Tesla's current system performs 1.8 quintillion operations per second and can quickly go through real-world simulations. But Elon Musk wasn't satisfied with the pace. He wants to be the pioneer in self-driving and wants to do it as early as possible. For that, he already has a network of 1 million Tesla vehicles sending back data which is then used to train its neural nets. With the existing hardware, Tesla's self-driving learning training sets can take up to a month to process, so Tesla is creating a custom machine. Tesla will deploy Dojo in clusters called Exapods. Each exapod consists of 10 cabinets and will have a processing power of 1.1 exaflops. Tesla will have seven exapods at Palo Alto, giving a total processing power of nearly eight exaflops. This is more than four times Tesla's existing capability and will be focused on processing AI models for Tesla's autonomous vehicles. The company believes they can reduce a month's training time down to a week with Dojo. And to get that goal, Tesla is relying on innovation like never before as they introduce a new way of building a supercomputer. The basic working of Dojo moves apart from its current GPU-based supercomputer. 
Modern GPUs perform through a massive network of cores that read data and execute programs. Tesla's GPU-based supercomputer has nearly 40 million GPU cores. But instead of combining so many smaller chips, Dojo is made up of D1 tiles. Each tile has 354 cores aimed at artificial intelligence and machine learning. Tesla claims that each of these tiles offers the same performance as six GPU clusters. To make a Dojo Exapod, six D1 tiles are combined into a tray, and two trays are installed in each of the 10 Dojo cabinets. This gives each cabinet 4,248 cores, and so one Exapod consists of 42,480 cores. So Dojo is many times faster than GPU-based systems for the same data center footprint. The company even said that it could replace 72 GPU racks with just four Dojo cabinets. Like many Tesla products in the past, Tesla is promising a new world with Dojo. Setting such lofty goals has become a habit for Elon Musk, who wants to innovate everything and wants to do it as quickly as possible. Unsurprisingly, he is doing the same with his new supercomputer. Musk has been teasing Dojo since 2020, and last year Tesla detailed its first working training tile. At its latest event, the company said it is now installing the first Dojo cabinets and is building one training tile every day. The whole system at Palo Alto will house around 120 tiles holding 3,000 D1 chips. At this pace, Tesla remains on track to achieve its target of bringing the first Exapod online in the first quarter of 2023. But since they are supposed to install seven of these, getting the whole thing up and running may take some time. In the meantime, Tesla remained true to its commitment to aesthetics, using artificial intelligence on its supercomputer to create images of Cybertrucks on Mars. The AI-generated image wooed the crowd and got them excited about the AI technology and the upcoming Cybertruck. It seems like Dojo is focused on the training of Tesla's FSD models. 160,000 Teslas are participating in FSD Beta, the live testing phase of Tesla's full self-driving software that collects real-world driving data. The number of participants will keep growing, and so will the incoming data every minute. Dojo Exapods will help build new models using the ever-growing dataset and create a big virtual optimization machine that accelerates the development of autonomous vehicles to newer heights. But the real upshot is that the data multiplies every second, and with each day we are getting closer to the first Tesla that drives itself. However, Tesla will certainly not remain limited to using AI for cars. Instead, they are building products that will leverage AI and set the standards for training neural networks. One potential application for such progress is the Optimus humanoid robot, which Tesla seems to have with its vehicle software. How did that happen? And why is the Optimus humanoid robot a bigger industry than other Tesla cars? Find out in this video on your screen.